Hello, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. So we all remember this, right? This came out February 6th. Some anonymous Wall Street trader came out, made an $11 million bet. Something very bad is going to happen within the next 60 days, right? What I would like to do is recap the last month, because today is actually March 7th, so we're halfway through here, and I'd like to recap what's happened so far. I made a video on February 9th right about that bet. And since then, we've had more martial law in the Northeast. The Pope has resigned. North Korea carried out another nuclear test, which caused a fake earthquake over there. The Russians supposedly had a meteor crash that caused a thousand people to get hurt. We had a crazy guy go nuts in Los Angeles, supposedly, and go around and shoot a bunch of cops. I'm just talking about the stories that reported. I'm not saying these things actually happened. We've seen a crazy increase of reports of meteors and fireballs all over the country. And the Pope's come out and announced a tribulation. So someone comes out and, and says in 60 days something bad's going to happen. And so far, this is what the first 30 days has looked like. So I don't know if anything's actually going to happen, but I can tell you what. It sure does seem like there's a big escalation and it's all leading to something. And speaking of the stock market... I'd like to go ahead and, and, and talk about that for just a second. Okay, let's let now, let's let's just address this lie. And no if no one knows it's at an all time high, okay? Now this is a bunch of bullshit. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put some links below that will go ahead and verify this stuff, but I just wanna I just went ahead and wrote stuff down off the top of my head from stuff I've seen recently, okay? That goes to show how this is a big lying sham. Okay? So Right off the bat here, the labor force we have right now is currently the size of, the, of that what it was in the 1970s, and it's shrinking. We have the same number of jobs that we did in the early 2000s, but we have 30 million more people. We have a record number of people raiding their 401ks to pay their bills. And we've even had the Dallas Fed President Richard Fisher come out in the last couple of days and say the, economy's, the country's economy is stuck in neutral. And the Dow is at an all-time high. Right. Really now. Now let's talk about when the last time the Dow was this high. Gold was $750 an ounce. Now it's $1,575. GDP was $2.5. Now it's $1.6. Gas was $2.75. Now it's $3.73. Unemployment was it had 6.7 million people unemployed. Now it's 13.2 million people unemployed. Number of uh, people on food stamps, 26.9 million. Now it's 47.69 million. The debt, 9.008 trillion. Now it's 16.43 trillion dollars. Really? And the stock market is at an all time high. Can anyone else see through the bullshit how this is a big lie, right? Ridiculous. Oh, and to top it all off, to see how these next 30 days are going to, you know, pan out, North Korea came out and threatened us with the preemptive nuclear attack. So we'll see. We'll see if something uh, is to come of this crazy bet. But all I can say is it's been one heck of a month so far. So thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks to all my beautiful subscribers and teammates all there uh, out there. Couldn't do this without you all. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.